I, uh, I am reproving the unfruitful works of darkness, which is, which is child sacrifice, and I'm seeking to uh, point people to find forgiveness in the Lord Jesus Christ, because. <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah, that's. Well, oh, it's murder. It's a murder of a real human being made in the image of God. And, uh, but, but the truth is, those who, it's sin. It's sin. That's what it has to do with. I don't, I don't appreciate someone standing outside of high school. My daughter doesn't need to be exposed to that kind of stuff. But she doesn't see the word abortion. She doesn't know about the word abortion. Well, well, Ephesians 5.11 says, Don't have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm seeking to bring the, bring the truth of Jesus Christ into conflict with this evil. From the uh, high yeah, yeah. It's, stand in front of Walmart or Target or something like that. I think it's highly inappropriate to be in front of a place where there's minors, minors. Well, I don't think it's right. Well, it's a. Uh, go over to Walmart. Go stand in front of a church somewhere. Go to the abortion clinic. I don't think it's right that they murder human beings. The high schoolers are doing that? Well, Any well yeah. The high schoolers have to it have definitely happens. To do it. Well, oh, well, yeah. So, what is, yeah. why is it their fault that you're standing here? Uh, you're standing at Walmart where there's grown adults walking in and out today, not minor children. The, 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 sins, of, the sins of those fornicating uh, roll down upon the children who have to pay for the sins of fornication and sexual immorality and I'm speaking up for those being led away to the slaughter. And so frankly and so frankly uh, <clears throat> the lives of preborn children are, are slaughtered due to the selfish decisions of those who love having sex outside of marriage and and uh, forsaking God's law for their flesh. What was that? To have sex outside of marriage? To have an abortion. Why do you like say the, that? The state will make these promises. You'll get child support. You'll get this. You'll get that. You'll get help. You don't get jack shit. When you have kids outside of wedlock, or even if you're married and your husband's just a piece of shit, they don't, they don't really pursue child support. I have an uh, ex who has $100,000 back child support sitting there. I would take care of our son by myself our whole life, or his whole life. So all these promises that they tell you, they're not even going to honor them. So what's best for the child to not even be existing? For them to be in foster care, born to drug addict mothers? Well, my, well, I will, I will point you to put your faith in Jesus Christ because uh, he will not leave those in the dust who seek first his kingdom and, and his righteousness. And I, I know that just might not make sense to you, but. Um, but like the way of the, but the way of the world, it, you you listed all those problems, and I, uh, and I don't doubt that that they're true. They're probably true, but um, but I just. So why don't why don't you focus your energy on those types of things, helping make sure these mothers have resources to go to, so they're not going to the abortion clinic. Set up a fundraiser for these people. Promise to get them a place to live. So their kids don't go into foster care. Why don't you direct your energy towards something like that instead of standing on here, freezing your ass off, totally upset about abortion, which I'm sure the majority of these high schoolers aren't even thinking about having an abortion. Because most of them probably aren't even doing it. Well, that's a, uh, uh, I don't think that's an accurate assumption to make. I, frankly, I don't know for sure uh, as well, but. Yeah, but um, but I've heard uh, I've heard some uh, pretty vulgar remarks uh, concerning uh, concerning sexual immorality uh, from uh, from from students driving by me. Uh, but I can see from the fruit of our culture, over three thousand image bearers of God are murdered in the womb every single day in this country. Over, over 3,000 over 3, abortions happen each day. Our society makes it that way. Our 
Yeah. I think I think lots of them are, are are knowing full well what they're doing. They're what? They are knowing full well what they're doing. They're murdering their child. They know what they're doing, but what are the consequences if they have that child? Well, they Again, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You, you, there's there's uh so I, the fruit of sin. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. I have to pay because I'm sick and I can't go to work. No, you're not going to do that. So if I have 10 kids, I know dang well that I'm not going to be able to support all 10 kids. And some of these people, it's their religion or whatever to just not use birth control. But when people have an abortion, they don't go in there wanting to do it. They just know what it's really going to be like if they don't. So if you make resources available for these, these women instead of having to do this, saying, hey, you know what, I can, or even offer it for them to sell their baby or something, you know, like, give them options of things that they can do, but that you need money to live, and everybody makes mistakes, everybody makes mistakes. Right, but, uh, but we must be willing to come to terms that, uh, that we are, that we are sinners and we are wrong before God and that we need to repent. Uh, do you believe that it's okay to, uh, to engage in sex outside of marriage? Well, yeah, I did. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, there's a reason why God calls that a sin. It's because uh, there are... Uh, it's just the... It's just the, the fruit of a fallen world. Um, and uh, and the, the fruit of that sin uh, rolls down upon <coughs> the unborn, preborn children. And uh, and also the born children, who they, they choose to have. I've seen the fruit of many marriages that uh, that have that have children from a spouse that they're like no longer with, and uh, <clears throat> and that's uh, that's not to say that they should have murdered their child. Uh, instead, um, uh, murder is never the answer. It's not the answer. Uh, to, uh, to our life problems. Um, uh, again, like the, I, I've also seen the fruit of people that I've known who have run into tough life situations. Like for example, their, their car just quit work, quits working. Uh, their car stops working. And, and look, it, it, they, they just, they just like trusted God to provide and like he, he doesn't. He doesn't leave them in the dust. He doesn't leave them to just to just die in their die in their uh, hardship in life. Um, he provides for them, and just it's. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just uh, maybe I don't control it, but uh, um, but I yeah, but I but I hear you. It's just uh, there's they, we there, most of us go through bad times in life. It's it's tough. It's just uh, but there's it's but it's not the right thing to simply. Blame God for all of the bad things in life. It's because of our sin. It's separated us from God, and uh, uh, it, there are. And and I agree with you. I agree with you that uh, that there are lots of lots of people who claim claim the name of Jesus Christ who are not actually living for Him. Uh, but in the in the Bible even warns us or warns us of of false believers in Jesus Christ and that Jesus says many who uh, say Lord Lord do not actually know him um, <coughs> uh, they misplace their resources and, and do those 
do the other fun things. Uh, but, but I just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, or advertise your church getting help to women who are thinking about having an abortion. When you go to have an abortion, they have like counseling and they talk to somebody beforehand. They tell you all the, the things that are available to you beforehand. But none of those things are even true. There's nowhere for a pregnant person to go and get help. Yeah, I, I, I hear it. And we're, and we're, and we're supposed to 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 offer assistance and uh, and help help widows and orphans. That's what that's what God calls us to do. It says, pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this: visit the orphans and widows in their time of distress. James one twenty seven. It's a, it's a tough decision to murder a human being. Right, so there's yeah. reasons to not do it. Yeah. Instead of standing out here freezing to death, go somewhere yeah. and start something that will offer these women a place to go or money for food or diapers or, you know, whatever. Well, um, well, if you, well, if you want... Uh, um, well, would uh, well, my question to you is, uh, would uh, would you like some assistance? No. Okay. 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 Yeah. I just uh, I well, like when I when I stand before God one day and He asks me what I did for the least of these. I don't know, there are many, we live in a world of injustice, a world that justifies the murder of children, a world that uh, engages in the slave trade and wicked groups that just, just murder people. It's, it's injustice and we, we don't, we don't show true justice against, uh, against rapists either. It's, 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 or it's just, or murderers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, see. So completely asked up. Everybody just does whatever the heck they want to do. They don't really think about how people are actually feeling. Like with an abortion, do you think? I just, I can't stress enough. Going to have sex is not an easy decision for a woman to do. It's, it's really There's no way out. She probably isn't. That they go through with what, what they're doing. I mean, have you been in an abortion clinic? Well, I've uh, I've been I've been uh, outside of one numerous times, and I will not undermine the significance of reassuring you that the mothers and fathers going to have an abortion are murderers and it's just we need to take responsibility for our actions before God and understand that the real victims in these situations are in fact the children who are being slaughtered by their own parents so and being led to the slaughter.
Well, that may be true for a few, uh, but I, I, but I assert to you that the that that the situation you just described is is not true for several. They're simply going to have an abortion because they just want to have an abortion. It's like a it's a heart issue. Like 500, 600, yeah, or, it's a lot of money, and even depending yeah. on how far along you are, it's going to cost more money. How many people just have five, six hundred dollars laying around to waste on having an abortion? They don't want to go do it. They want to go spend money on something like that. I think some, pe I think people want to get abortions. I've seen the fruit of it. Just because they feel like it. Yeah, because they they don't they don't want to. Have, they don't want to take responsibility of caring for children, so they would rather murder their children, murder their preborn children. So uh, that's well, basically it. Well, it's uh, it's time our society come to, comes to terms that they that they must uh, admit their sin and come to and come to faith in God. Uh, this is a, a common slogan that that will be thrown around. It's like it's my body, my choice, and and it's uh, and it's just a uh, it's just a, a slogan it, that. I counter that by saying the body inside your body is not your body. Um, so it's a uh, that's just that's just uh, part of my argument for that. Um, I mean we we don't.